Another video from Fast Tech. In this one, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to fix a PS4 first gen if it's not turning on. That means when you plug the power cable in and you press the power button at the front, there's no beep, there's no sound, there's no light indicator at the top, as you can see. I did this video back in 2017 and this was one of my first videos. So I'm redoing it again for you guys before people stop using PS4s altogether. So again, as you can see, it's not turning on at all. If when it's plugged in, there's no light indicator up top. There's no beat and it's plugged in. In that case, you need a new power supply. And I'm gonna be showing you guys how to replace these today. We sell these power supplies on our website at fasttechstore.com or fasttech.ca or fasttech.us. And uh, these come with a lifetime warranty. So if anything goes wrong for the life of the power supply, it, that could be three years, five years from now, you can replace it free of charge. Let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the back of the console and we're gonna remove these three stickers. Once we've got these stickers removed, we're gonna need a Torx T8H screw, which is part of the Fast Tech Pro Auto Kit, which we sell on our website, which is an electronics toolkit with an automatic driver that you can use to disassemble your PS4, PS5, Xbox, and all other kinds of electronics. So we're gonna get these Torx T8 screws out of the way. Once we've gotten the Torx T8 screws removed, we're gonna lay the PS4 down and we're gonna lift up the back cover like that. And it's gonna come off. This is the power supply. This is what we're trying to replace. There's three Torx T8 screws and two Phillips screws that hold it in. We're gonna remove these screws. Once we've got the screws removed, we're gonna remove this connector by grabbing it from the sides and pulling it. If it doesn't come out easy, you can wiggle and pull. Take your time with it and it'll come out like that. Then we're gonna lift the power supply out. Power supply's out. So that's our old power supply. And you can see it's kind of dusty and we're gonna be replacing it with our new power supply. And again, guys, if you need this power supply, links are in the description box. This is a model ADP240CR. If you have a COH1000 or 1001, you're gonna have an ADP240AR. But since this is a COH1115 or COH1100 series, this one uses an ADP240CR power supply. It's important to note that difference when you're ordering a power supply from us. So out with the old, we're gonna put that to the side and we're gonna put our new power supply in. We're gonna connect the connector at the side. And when you're putting the power supply back in, make sure that these pins here are not bent. Otherwise, you'll get blue light or some other kind of issue. So make sure these pins don't get bent when you're putting this back together. We're gonna put the power supply back in, connect the connector at the side, push it down, reinstall all the screws that we removed. Now we're gonna install the bottom cover back on. The front goes in first, like that. It goes under this piece here and under the antenna. Same on this side. Goes under and then you're gonna pivot it back and then push it in from the back. You're gonna hear the clips click in. And now we're gonna reinstall the Torx T8H security screws. These are, this is a Torx T8H driver, not a regular T8, so a regular T8 is not gonna work. And then we're gonna reinstall the stickers. And now we're gonna test the PS4 to make sure that it works. Let's turn it on. And as you can see, it works. There's a disc in there, I think. I can hear it spinning. It's 
must be the customer's game. So as you can see, that's another successful repair from Fast Tech. And again, I had to redo this video because I did this years ago and it was trash. Don't forget to smash that like button, smash that subscribe button if you haven't already, and comment on the video if you have any questions. Also, check out my vlog channel in which I travel the world, record my crazy adventures, and I put them up on the links in the description box. And once again, all the tools, parts, including the power supply and the screwdriver that you need for this job are on the website at fasttechstore.com. Links in the description box. And you can use the coupon code YouTube for a discount. This is Young Tech God from Fast Tech signing out.